just when things seemed almost perfect. Dylan and I have had a big bust up. He's been hanging out with a girl we know and I don't like it. It reminds me of the time he slept with my friend two years ago. I don't know why you're getting aggy about it, Dylan. It's your fault. Yeah, exactly. So I'll do what I want, because clearly you've done what you want when you slept with her, didn't you? Obviously, there's still trust issues there um, from before and things like that, but I thought we'd move past that, but clearly we're still in that situation. I'm upset at the thought of him cheating on me again and I don't want to talk about it. Lovely, thank you. But my sister's already heard something's up. Oh my goodness, thank you. Dylan just drives me crazy, like he makes me crazy. Yeah, I know. And I don't think your mum completely understands that. And I'll never completely understand that because not being horrible, I haven't been cheated on. So I don't know what that's like. It's just awkward. He's not even probably done anything that wrong yet. But obviously, certain other circumstances, you're allowed to be a little bit paranoid. You're allowed to be like that. Yeah. He still needs to be told, like, sort it out. Yeah careful because you it doesn't really matter if you've done nothing wrong because I could leave your ass anyway because I'm not going to be sitting indoors being paranoid. It's annoying because you was in like quite a good flow. And Dylan was, to be fair, he was taking the load a little bit, wasn't he? Like, and he was um, dealing with your mood swing. But his actions were poor made you like this? Yeah. We can't keep going through this cycle of him doing something stupid, breaking up, and then he can going back to being good, and then, what, a couple of months later, he goes back into it again, like, nah, I'm just fed up with him and his ways, to be honest. I just can't be bothered with him no more. <laughs>